Could it really be that simple to just put your hand over something in your life and say, this brings me joy or this doesn't, and be able to move confidently from that question? Let's find out. You definitely want to stay till the end of the video because I'm going to show you somebody else's closet that is kind of scary and we didn't go in. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Marie Kondo. And the if you know this name and are familiar with her work, the great. If you're not, then I'm just going to give you a two second introduction. So Marie Kondo is also known as KonMari. She's a Japanese organizing consultant, author that's written four books on organizing and sold millions of copies around the world. And also she's a TV host. So most importantly, and what most people know her for is the whole closet organizing mindset of you go and you take everything out of your closet, you put your hands over it. If it brings you joy, then you keep it. If you don't, then you donate it or you trash it. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be cool to do this with your mindset? Here's my confession, is when I actually started filming this video, I thought it was Marie Forleo. And I spent a lot of time being like, I don't understand what everything is figure outable has anything to do with a closet. So that's my little confession, but my promise and commitment is to take the Marie Forleo concept and personality and add it to Marie Kondo's work. So that is what I'm gonna bring you in this video. I'm actually going to show you my own closet and what happened when I applied this. And this video is not about a closet. This video is about your life. So you're ready to see my closet? So here's the deal is when I went to my closet and I opened it, my closet is not awful, but it has gotten a little bit full. And you can notice that you can't see the floor. You can notice that there's a ton of clothes and it seems like everything from the St. Patty's Day decorations to my kids' toys that they play with and lose end up in my closet. So when I went to think about creating this video and really the application, but as I said, this video is not about organizing a closet. It's actually very much about organizing your life. The same concepts that Marie talks about with focusing on the things that bring you joy and having more things that bring you joy in your life is basically what you can do with your thoughts and ideas. And being able to lean into this concept fully and completely and give yourself permission that if something brings you joy, let's keep it. And if something doesn't, then let's not keep it. It sounds very simple. And yet how many things on a daily basis do we do or on our to-do list because we think that we should be doing them? Or how many times do we do something and then we think about the fact that we shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have eaten that, shouldn't have thought about that, shouldn't have said that. And so basically at a very essential level, what we're doing is taking out everything except for this present moment and just saying, does this thought add to my life? Does this thought bring me closer to my big vision and my big desire? So when I went to my closet, one of the things that I knew I was not going to do was I wasn't going to take everything out of my closet, mainly because this wasn't the season to be able to spend that amount of time on my closet. And so I applied the same thing that I do when I started with my mindset is I just picked a couple things to focus on. And I knew that I wasn't gonna change my mindset overnight. And so I just gave myself an additional 10 minutes to start with where I would really just focus on what it was that I wanted my life to look like and the thoughts that I wanted to be welcome and create more of in my brain. And I applied this to my closet. So really the whole goal for me working on my closet was for me to be able to see the ground. I just wanted to be able to walk into my closet. And when we think about that with our mind, it would be so great if we could just have a little bit more clarity with our mind. So my goal was just be able to see the floor and also to give myself a little bit more mental clarity. If you're the kind of person where you're gonna look at this picture and scream, then imagine that this is your mind. Imagine that you have all of this going on in your mind right now. And how come you're not screaming? Well, maybe you are. Maybe it sounds more like overwhelm than it does screaming. Maybe you're not sleeping at night. This is the equivalent of not being able to see the floor of your mind. If you feel like you're storing your thoughts under those old St. Patrick's Day decorations and kids' art, 
then this could be a good way for you to just apply. Let's take 10 minutes and just have a little bit more clarity in your mind, a little bit less noise and be able to see a little bit more of that floor. So the point is first to have a little bit more clarity and second to know where things are to be able to access thoughts and ideas and be able to have them be organized and clear. The same way that we want to be able to walk in our closet and know where our items are that we want to find, whether it's our jackets or our shirts or our pants or our shoes or those St. Patrick's Day decorations. To be honest with you, I didn't know where to start. And I'm talking about my closet and my mindset. So having just the idea of giving myself that 10 minutes and just starting there was really, really helpful. So I'd highly encourage you to start small and not try to bite off more than you can chew right now because it can be very overwhelming to open those closet doors of the mind and look at all of that junk and not even know where to start. And that's the sensation that I had, which is why I'm recommending to start with just a simple 10 minutes. One of the best questions that I can ask that helps me be more organized and keep what is serving me and let go of the rest and all of that mental clutter is when I have a thought is to run it through the lens or the filter of, is this serving me? Is this making my life better? And when I can do that confidently and I know that that idea, that thought, that space and real estate in my brain is dedicated to something that is actually serving me and is making my life better, then I welcome it into my thought pattern and into my daily life. But those thoughts of, oh, well, I shouldn't have done that. Those don't actually make my life better. And so those are the kinds of mental clutter that I'm going to not just donate, but trash because no one needs those. No one needs a recycled thought on, I should have done this better. We all have a ton of shoulds in our brain and shouldn'ts in our brain. And those would all do better in the trash than they would donating them. I'm all for recycling. I'm a SoCal girl. I love supporting the planet, but I don't think that the world needs any more of that existing. That's the kind of stuff that we can just do away with. So what is one thing, one thought right now that when it comes up, you can identify that that's mental clutter and let it go. Let me know in the comments what that one thought is for you right now. I know we all have one. If you're watching this, you definitely have a thought right now that you can pop in the comments. It's a little bit of accountability and it's a little bit of getting started in the middle of this video, which is great. So let me know in the comments. The cool thing about this is that when you actually have more of just the essentials in your mind is you're actually going to have more energy because your brain and your mind is not processing through all of those thoughts. It's kind of like if I opened my closet and all the clothes fell out on top of me, but I'm looking for that one particular red shirt, then I'd be spending and wasting a lot of energy trying to find that one red shirt. But by having just the essentials available and so organized and so clear and be able to see through that lens and that filter of, oh, here's what I'm doing and here's what I'm thinking and it's all leading to my big dream, my big desire, my big purpose in order to make this world a better place, it's essentially gonna leave me with more energy to do more things because I'm not having to rifle through an entire mind worth of thoughts and an entire closet worth of clothes. I'm just able to access what's important and what's relevant to me right now. And that alone gives me energy because it makes me feel like, oh yeah, totally empowered because I know exactly what I'm looking for and I'm able to find it with a reasonable amount of time and not have to go through every single thought that I have in order to find it. So mental clutter is not just uncomfortable and doesn't just waste energy, but it's actually unhealthy. So I want you to give this gift to yourself because you have so much to share with this world. And so being able to strip away all of that additional mental clutter and all of the stuff that's not serving you and be able to see that closet floor of your mind with such clarity and such organization means that you'll be able to bring more of those amazing ideas that you have into this world. And you're also going to have a healthier mindset because you'll have more clarity. You'll have more space for your mind to breathe and new ideas to come up because you're not going to be wasting all of that energy with the ideas that weren't serving you or the thoughts that weren't serving you cluttering up your mind. You deserve the clarity and calm that comes with an intentional and clear mind. So after cleaning my closet and having this gorgeous, beautiful view of my closet floor, I not only feel better about my closet, but I also feel better about my headspace because when I wake up tomorrow morning, it's not gonna take me as long to find what I need in order to get started with my day. And so I am, I'm feeling a lot better, both in my mind and about my closet. And I appreciate 
the space to be able to share with you a little bit about how we can do this for our mind. And I also appreciate the inspiration to get my closet clean. So thank you for that. And most of all, thank you for making the world a better place and making a difference. I'll see you in the next video. Remember I told you at the end of the video, I was gonna show you the closet that I didn't go in because it was kind of scary. This is my husband's closet and no, we didn't go in there. We definitely slammed the door because I don't need to know what it looks like in there. Don't forget to let me know in the comments that one thought that you were going to dismiss, throw away, trash forever, and banish from your mind so that you can keep all of your thoughts focused on making the world a better place. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.